The World Health Organization has indicated they would like to set the goal of eliminating hepatitis C completely worldwide by 2030. So to do that, in addition to identifying chronically infected patients, we need to be able to treat them. So the point or the aim of this study was to use a very simple blood-based biomarker called the APRI or AST to platelet ratio index to identify patients who don't have cirrhosis. So the APRI, if it's less than one, has a high negative predictive value. That is, that it will identify patients who don't have cirrhosis. So in the study, we used an APRI of less than one to identify non-cirrhotic hep C patients of any genotype. And in the protocol, we gave them the same drug, which is glucapavir pibritanisvir, or GP as it's called, and we administered it for eight weeks because that's what the FDA labeling is for that drug. And lo and behold, the APRI threshold of less than one identified patients, and when we treated them prospectively, we cleared 100% of the patients using one regimen independent of the genotype. So this is the first time we've been able to use a simple blood-based biomarker to identify the appropriate patients for treatment and get 100% clearance. Yeah, I think one of the unique things about this particular study was that it truly was a worldwide study. It was uh, performed in 10 countries around the world, South America, Europe, North America, and parts of Asia. There were a total of 43 sites that enrolled the 230 patients. And it sort of proves the point of generalizability and that we can implement these types of protocols around the world with relatively low cost and high effectiveness. So I think the, the context of where this work may fit into future practice in um, public health is that the APRI can be obtained in any patient, in any hospital, in any part of the world. You don't need to get a biopsy, you don't need to do more sophisticated things like a fibro scan, you can simply get these simple blood tests. And then having that in your hand, these drugs are becoming more and more widely available, the costs are coming down, we'll be able to treat more patients more rapidly. And I think that's important because right now a big limitation is, in the U.S. at least, that many of these patients need to get referred to a specialist for treatment. And our goal is to be able to improve access by getting the drugs into the hands of the doctors and practitioners who are seeing the patients, not necessarily specialists around the world, with the goal of inching towards true elimination of hepatitis C by 2030 as uh, suggested by the World Health Organization.